But there is something I want to know. Eh? Mm -hmm. Like now when you're teaching sounds reading, eh? is it allowed to mix like you want them again to spell the words using letters or you just go with the sounds? I have read this word. Mother. The word is? Mother. The word is? Mother. The word is? Mother. It has sound? Mm. It has sound? Oh. Ah. Now this is ah. Are we together? This is an alternative ah. Eh? I'm going to give you everything so that you can make your own conclusion. Eh? It has sound what? This is the alternative. Eh? It has sound what? Mm. Eh? This is also the alternative of, of. Then it has sound. Ah. Are we together? Now let us spell it. Spell. Eh? Now let us spell it in letters. Let us spell it in letters. L. Uh huh. Now, teacher, I would like you to give us your opinion. Is there, is there, is there that confusion or it is confusion? It is confusing. How? Like now you're, you're making the learner not to understand something. You, again, you're teaching sounds. You take that learner again, maybe letters. So the learner will become confused. He cannot what to differentiate now a sound and what a letter. The learner will just cram. Mm -hmm. We'll just cram the, the letters. Mm -hmm. You may find that in exams or in writing, in his own book, he may not even remember the, the, the arrangement of the letters in the word mother. Yeah, when, when that learner spells okay. M O T H E R. Uh huh, thank you. Now, the good thing, we are, we are, we are a full forum here. We can make our own judgments and decisions and pass them. And no one will bargain. Are we together? For me, I are going to come up with how should we spell best? Should we spell best through using sounds or letters? Are we together? But at least it should come from us. Eh? Best one. Just one word. Uh huh. Thank you. Uh, now, when you look at the aim of why you are teaching a sound mm. and the way we have spelled using uh, letters, mm. It causes a mayhem when it comes because when a teacher is teaching, they mm. have what they are aiming at. at uh -huh. You are aiming at a, a kid to understand a sound. When you you spell it using letters, you confuse them and they don't like. At the end of the day, they don't learn anything. Members, are we together? Yes. The child we, we, are, we are now in our parliament, teachers' parliament. Eh? You are going to pass laws and bills. Eh? <laughs> they will mm -hmm. just be in class. And just maybe at once when they are playing to just remember the word mother when they don't know how it is formulated. Yeah. That's that's when you you see that the teacher will not have actually reached what they want. You you will not have given the kid what they are supposed to learn. In in total sense, you will have not taught. Member of Parliament from which area? <laughs> now this is the teacher's Parliament. We are going to pass a bill and no. From which? Balaika Nursery and Primary School. That is the, your jurisdiction, eh? Yes. Okay, any other person? Are you saying this form of learning? We're not, we're not telling you now teach like this, but we are discussing. And you have what they call positive arguments. Eh? Uh -huh. What is your opinion? Because we have seen that in so many schools. Eh? If when you are in reading, you can let them spell in sounds. When it's, when it's another subject, you can let them spell in letters. Uh -huh. That's another good one. Uh -huh. because according to what you want or according to what you are teaching. Or they can spell in both sounds and letters like so that in, they can understand. Thank you. In like in which other subject? Can you be clear? English. English, okay. Do you agree? Uh, people are agreeing on everything, eh? Whatever people say, they say yes. Uh-huh. Letters should only be taught for the children. They should know that these are capital letters for only that purpose. But for reading is when the sound should be used because we cannot only teach sounds when the child does not know uh -huh, maybe is this a capital letter or you know okay yeah thank you the parliament is still giving its opinion are we, are we together should uh-huh hey member the member of parliament has also said no my constituency will say what do i do in the parliament without saying anything so, okay yeah. where my concern is eh these children, when they leave lower primary and they go to upper primary, okay. sounds are not emphasized there. 
they emphasize letter names. Mm. So when you are teaching, if you are teaching reading, you emphasize sounds. If you got literacy, emphasize sound and letter names. Okay, I have a question. I have also a question. Who told? And who taught? Who told and who taught upper primary teachers not to use reading? For is them, it, they... is it? Is it? Is it mandatory or it is a mistake? It's a systematic mistake that is affecting us. Yeah? Huh? And that's the reason why Ugandan children perform poorly. Are you getting it? Where reading has to be emphasized, people have totally neglected it. And that's why, okay, by show of hands, we are in a workshop. Are we together? Let us be sincere. By show of hands, how many schools here? I've sent upper primary teachers. Put up your hand if you're from upper primary. Upper primary, how many? One, two. Are you getting it? And the rest are in lower what? Are you getting it? Why? Because they see that reading are things of uh, what? Lower primary. That is a big mistake that the country is doing. These upper kids are not aware about sounds. That's okay. why they are reading for us badly. Have you had spelling that? badly words. Huh? Have you heard that? So, uh, this is our humble request to all teachers who are here. You are the ambassadors of TN, eh? When you go back to your respective schools, tell your directors and everyone and your friends and other teachers that reading is the mother of all subjects. And it has to be taught by every what? Every teacher and in every subject. Are we together? The reason why so many schools are gambling and are struggling is simply because they don't want to learn. They assume they know and they leave certain things for other people. Are you getting it? Now, you in the lower classes, you will teach this well. Huh? When the kids go in the upper classes, they spoil them and they forget because they, they won't be practicing. And they forget things. Are we together? For us, we have had kids whom we train and whom we have been teaching. When they are too good in lower, when maybe those kids are taking other schools, they have to Are you getting it? So uh, one of the things, when you are teaching, like the right way how we should spell, we should spell in sound. Are we together? Now, the reason why at times we spell in letters, maybe because of the, the, the length of the word. Are we together? But now the, we have what we call learning to read and reading to learn. Now, when the kids have reached a stage over reading to learn. Okay, the first, there are two stages in reading. The one we call learning to read and reading to learn. Have we seen these two? Now, learning to read, this is majorly for lower classes. Baby, middle, P1, P2, up to P3. Like from, EC, this is the ECD section up to P3. Eh? Now, it depends. By, by, by the way, some schools live even this stage at just P1 when their kids uh, know how to read. Other schools, they go to P2. Other schools, P3. And I, I would like all the school directors all over the world to take this with one heart. That a school that invests a lot in reading is the farm school. Are we together? Why? It's like you can't drive a car without, uh, without fuel, can you? You can't. It's a lie. Other thing that you will do without fuel, you are lying yourself. Fuel is, the, is, is the, like reading in schools. How together? Because in all subjects, you have to read. You have to comprehend. Huh? True or false? Yes. So now, in, upper, in lower classes, it's more of learning to read. They are just learning to read. So that's why it's also important to use, to break them and maintain the syllables. Eh? Sorry, maintain the sounds. Sound me, sound ah, sound me, and sound ah. All together. Then a child can ask you, teacher, which sound ah? Then you tell her, the ah o ha. This ha. All together? Because there are so many as. All together? All together? Now, the importance of letter names. Letter names just give us what they call recognition. Because a letter will be one and it will never change. Sounds can change. 
Are we together? I can say sound O. Oh. Yet I mean, a person will write this O. Oh. Yet I'm meaning this O. Oh. There's also that O. Oh. Are we together? There's also this O. Oh. Uh, there's also this O. Oh. Have you seen that? So that's the only difference. Now, in upper classes, the reason why at times we can spell by letters, because already the child is well endowed and acquainted with the word, with the sounds. And the words at times are long. Are we together? They are weak and at times. But when they have good background, uh, they have back knowledge eh, about what? Learning to read. They learn this stage. Are we together? And that's why it is my humble appeal to all schools, your schools inclusive. We are going to start that program whereby we shall be having just one assessment. First, we don't want to assess people in so many things. We shall be assessing your children in one paper reading. Only paper reading. Whether you want P1 up to P7. And if the kids pass those, that paper, it's not all about failing them. At least you know that yes, teachers have done some good work. Some good work all together. Eh? Just one paper. By the time that child leaves maybe that section, you will know that these ones are now good. All together. But I'll tell you even at the time the reading paper that your schools you do, they are not to that standard. Are we together? True or false? Huh? It pains me seeing a ch Sorry? Sorry? Hmm? They are favoring the kids, eh? And that's why, yes, they, they, they bring paper that are not to the standard and they... So, it's my humble request, at least by the time a child reaches P2, P3, they should have surpassed this stage and they should be here. But it starts with the teacher. So in a, our conclusion would be, in lower classes, if you are sounding or if you are spelling, let us spell through what? Sound. That together. Yes. Now it's very hard for you to spell like the word photosynthesis through sound, but you can. You can, eh? You can, eh? No, you can, eh? But because of the, long le because of the, the length of the word, eh? It is somehow complicated, but at least a child can also have it in mind. T P H for sound, O for sound, O. Like even I might spell this mother. M for sound, M. O for sound, A. T R T H for sound, M. And E R for sound, A. Me was spelled it like that, and who just says M O T H E R? Who is better? Huh? No, the one which has both. M for sound. O for sound. R. TH for sound. ER for sound. R. Are you getting it? So that is, I think, it will, it will give us a better conclusion. Thank you.